Everybody wants to shine, but who come out on a cloudy day? Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Okay, y'all, got a little housekeeping to do right now, and um, it's really difficult. Because uh, this subject um, is very hard. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give a shout out to um, all the people who have donated to the channel. I thank you very much. Uh, no contribution is too large or small. So I appreciate everything that you've sent. And I want to encourage you to keep um, donating to the channel. Because a cash app, or you can donate to the channel uh, by going to PayPal. Also, you may donate um, uh, straight by just joining. And I'm really in the process of getting some new uh, cameras and bringing in some interviews, you guys. So those donations are definitely going to help. Uh, so now I'm going to give an update on my brother Ricky's killer's trial. And that's going to be January 10th at 9 o'clock in room 506 in the safety building. Over here in Milwaukee, that piece of shit that killed my brother and has gotten, um, has put all of us in a PTSD even more. Well, he's going to have a trial and I hope we pack that courtroom up and people don't forget to wear your masks stay covered but I really want him to know just how much Ricky was loved and that bullshit that he's talking that Ricky tried to kill him nobody believes that because everybody that knows Ricky know that he don't got that kind of bone in his body so I want to see what's going to happen and rip him to shreds and because unfortunately my brother can't come back, but this dude don't deserve to get out. Yeah, he don't. He don't deserve to get out, and so that's what he's looking at. He's looking at life in jail, and that's what he should get. See, because you don't need to be on the streets. They found you in Florida. I heard. So your ass was on the run. You was trying to get away after you done killed my brother. So I don't want to spend too much time on you because it it just triggers my PTSD just like my heart and condolences and everything go out to the family of Calvin Locke Jr. who was gunned down right there at the Wands Walk on Capitol and Richards. My little cousin. I don't know what's going on in this world, y'all, but we are killing each other. We are taking out ourselves. The self-hatred that we have that has been taught to us is now at an all-time low, high. And that's why Willie Lynch said, don't worry about them. This will be self-perpetuating where they'll hate themselves for hundreds and thousands of years because your anger is so misplaced. He's trying to protect his daughter in the parking lot because you was going to shoot and you didn't care who you shot. So he asked his daughter to go behind the truck and he got two bullets in the head. Look Cal, Junior. Oh, my heart goes out to Marilyn Lock, his mother, Cal Lock Sr., his father. Lolita, Diddy, Mm. Their only brother is gone at the hands of some low life piece of shit. That's what it was. And I'm not going to be afraid to call it out by a low life piece of shit that had nothing to live for. They don't know how to control his emotions. 
And that's why people like that is dangerous. Can't control your emotions. And you just shot this man. This man got babies. Just like my brother. Got grandkids. And kids. You don't care because you can't see no further than your own wretched soul. And we got to clean this shit up or get rid of this shit that we got in our community that ain't worth two dead flies. Yeah, I said it. Again, my condolences go out to the heart. I can't even hardly say it. My heart goes out to the Locke family, the Rogers family, the Duke family. The O'Neill family, all of the Bethlehem Temple family, Carol Posey, whose son, whose grandson was just gunned down a few months after my brother got gunned down. These are church people that don't hurt nobody. Cal, all he like to do is fish. He's a peaceful brother. I'm starting to really believe that saying that it said only the good die young. May God bless y'all. My heart and my condolences go out to all the families. Not just my family and the Locke family, but every family who has had to be burdened with trauma of death and the murder of a loved one. All of y'all, my heart go out to you. We are all family. All of us. And I'll pray for you while you continue to pray for me. And I'll see y'all in the next video.